Okay, we're uh, here this morning in uh, <clears throat> Bristol, Connecticut on a nice uh, cold winter day here and uh, towards the end of March. And uh, here with obviously Dermot in Innes from uh, Gar Guardian uh, kind of talking about this attic, what we're trying to accomplish today. And Dermot, what do, you, what do we got here? Well, one of the biggest problems you have in the north is attics that have icicles uh, on the gutters. And that's caused because most of the insulation cannot get all the way to the eave soffit. What we've done here, as you can see, is we've run the East Shield 11,000 down past the insulation, down to the base plate, run it up about two feet. And what this does is it reduces the amount of heat that can get out to that eave soffit, causing the snow to melt at the, at the eave and causing that ice damming problem. And uh, so in this attic here, we also had some issues up towards the front, which were under insulated. And we're, we're doing, uh, here today, we're doing a uh, rafter install. Uh, primarily they got a lot of heat up here that's escaping and well there's a couple of problems with this attic first of all right beside you there is a uh, furnace that uh, or a chimney stack which gives off heat as well and that's going to cause the same problem it's going to cause the snow in the winter time to melt but also you can see a lot of this insulation is old there's a lot of cracks and crevices so in order to stop the heat loss that we that's occurring during the winter time we've decided to go with uh, two ways. One way is we're going to put the um, East Shield 11,000 on the bottom of the rafter, but we're also going to do uh, over top of this insulation right here, over top of the rafters. Another thing that we noticed is that they've, uh, this is an older home built in the 1920s. They've added additional heating and air conditioning. This tends to be a problem. Even though that these ducts are, are, are heated or insulated, um, come the summertime when this attic gets to be about 150, 60 degrees, this air that's being forced through these, these vents down to the living space is actually going to be superheated, so you're not going to get the full effect. So what we're going to do is we're going to come along and drape the East Shield 11,000 over top of that, keeping those ducts cool in the summertime so that they'll get better air conditioning. Great. Anything else you can think of for this no. one? This is, a, I mean, it's a. This, this is a. This is actually. A, these are the type of attics we look forward to doing because they do have so many challenges, um, and it just has to do with the construction of how these homes were built so many years ago, um, and now people, like I said, are adding air conditioning units and heating units into these homes. So, uh, these types of applications are, are applications that East Shield is going to do a great job for. You know, it's interesting as we we look up here to some of these this how the roof was done you can almost see because this is an older roof but it happens in a lot of ho older homes that that the heat would just go right through the the decking uh escaping in obviously melting the snow and then causing ice cycles ice dams as well as the cost of energy to oh yeah you know. exactly i mean one of the things we noticed was you can see uh the, the grit from the shingles down here and that has to do with just the fact that you know there is no felt used back then and this is basically just there's no OSB, it's, it's wood, and then you put your shingles right over top. We've got all these crevices where uh, the heat is just escaping. So like I said, this is a great application for East Shield 11,000. These people are going to notice huge difference in the summertime as well as the wintertime. So we expect to see uh, a large saving in their energy costs. Awesome.